Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. Either way, I'm super happy you're here. We are going to do our first Christmassy, wintry Manny today. Um, well, I've done a winter, a couple winter ones, but not on video. So, uh, of course, my dogs are getting all riled up the second I sit down to record. Okay, I think I got them calmed down at least for the moment. So, this is my fourth attempt at doing this set of nails, this exact set of nails, and it's my second attempt at my voiceover. So hopefully I can bang this out and get this uploaded because of course I'm doing my voiceover the day of upload because that's what I do for whatever reason, I cannot get ahead. Anyway, um, so first layer of the, this is I Am a Unicorn by Mama Makes Her Own Dips. And the first layer we're going uh, almost all the way back, but not quite. I, I like to leave a little gap just so that I don't bulk up the cuticle and have more filing to do. It seems to work better and then the cuticles look nice and flush and it looks really good even though I'm using the sticky tops. So um, we're going to do two layers of that. Uh, well, one layer now and then we'll come back because, you know, odorless. I'm just going to give them a little time to dry. And then we are going to do this beautiful foil dip. Uh, everyone's a Lobo. This I had some issues on, which is one of the reasons I had to keep redoing the Manny because I was, um, you know, doing my normal first layer pour over so that I didn't get very many foils. And then the second layer I would dip in and then pick up a good amount of foils. But then when I clear capped, I wanted to place a few foils where it was, you know, a little sparse. And then when I went to file, uh, because those foils were so close to the surface, they turned silver. And then I had red foils and silver foils, which would uh, actually not look horrible if they were like, not like torn up foils. So it did not look good. Um, not the dips fall. It was 100% application on my side. So what I'm doing to alleviate that is I'm dipping in to pick up the bulk of the foils on the first layer. The second layer, I will separate the foil from the dip and I'll, you'll see how I do that here shortly. And then I will um, hand place a few foils, then pour over the red or dip into the red. I can't remember which way I do it. No, pour over. Yeah, I did pour over. And then when I clear cap, I don't place any foils because they're already all laid down. So the clear is protecting all those foils. Did not file into any of them and it turned out super, super, super good. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, finally got that down. Now my other reason I kept having to do this, redo this Manny is I am gonna do some chrome stamping. Um, and I, even though I use Manyology smudge free top coat and I always have, I, I they kept smudging every freaking time. And I think it had something to do with the fact that I, it was, I was chroming over the stamps, um, but it didn't matter. Like I would wait 10 minutes before I put the smudge free top coat over five minutes. I don't think I ever waited more than 10 minutes. And, um, one of the times they did not smudge with the smudge free, but then, you know, I waited like 10, 15 minutes after I put the smudge free on. And then I went in with a regular nail polish top coat, which is what I usually do. That way I give it one extra layer of protection before I go in with dip top coat. And when I did that step, it's much every single time. So I got a little bit perturbed. My smudge free top coat is at the very bottom and these are long nails. So it's really hard to get like a very clean, um, top coat application over the, these nails when your bottle is almost gone and it's kind of gotten a little, uh, a little bit thick and goopy, not like I can still use it. If I was using it on shorter nails, it would probably be better. So I was watching some YouTube videos to see if there's any, you know, stamping hacks. <laughs> Figure out how can I protect these stamps without smudging them. And I watched the first video I watched gave me a great trick. I'm not going to spoil it right now, but I'm probably never going to use Maniology sticky or smudge free top coat ever again in my life. So this is how I separate out the foils from the dip. I just put them into the sifter and I, yeah, pour it in. And then all the bigger foils, all the nice chunky foils, chunky glitters, doesn't matter, will sift out. And 
I'm left with, I mean, there is still some foil in this dip, but it's very, very tiny foils. And because I'm pouring over, I don't really get any that stick. Even if they did, I mean, if they did, it would be fine. I wouldn't have a problem with that. Um, also on this second layer, I am not going all the way back to the cuticles since I went, I did a full layer the first, and I don't know why I did that. It just, it just, that's just what happened. So, um, it's fine. So I'm going to dip in, um, this, uh, precision tool, um, into my liquid, just a little dab, and then I can pick up the foils and then I can place them wherever I want. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to place a bunch and then I'm going to pour over the dip and voila. So I'm going to let you guys watch. There's just a couple left nails left to do, and then I will be right back. <laughs> So I clear capped everything off camera. I mean, it's not a different process than anything else I'm doing. And now I'm going in with activator. I'm going to activate the two white nails first, just in case there's any pigment transfer. Cause this red is very, very staining. Um, <clears throat> it stained my dip base brush pretty good, but all I had to do was take a, uh, lint-free wipe and some alcohol and wipe it off and it was good it was just fine but I didn't want to um you know I don't want any of that red on the white unless it's stamping so <laughs> there we go so I'm going to activate and then I will um wait mm, like two minutes usually at the most with these uh with this activator even though it is odorless it activates super super fast but I do three layers of activator because anytime I do less, it takes a lot longer for the nails to go click, click, click. I don't know. Hopefully you guys can hear the click, click, click. Once it does that, I know I'm good to file. I filed. And then I went in and I did my stamp and I was like, oh crap, I forgot to hit record, which is fine. Like really, I'm going to do the exact, it's just a different stamp. So I was like, okay, it's fine. I'm not going to redo this nail. There's no way. Um, not with the fact that I've already redone it so many times. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the other nail. And it's the exact same process. Like I said, just a different stamp. Um, I did take me, I think this is my third attempt at getting this, not to do the stamp, but to get the stamp to lay on the stamper properly. Because those big thicker lines are a little bit more thicker, <laughs> deep, I don't know. I, I didn't have enough of the black in it the first two times. So, uh, cleaned off my palette or my stamping plate. And then this time it worked out great. Now you will notice it's like, huh, that's weird. The stamp is not big enough for this nail. Don't worry. We're going to fix that. And I'm going to show you guys how I fix that, but not right now. Um, so 
I lay the stamp down and almost immediately, like there's not, I don't wait. I go in with the chrome powder and I chrome, this is triple D um, foil stamping polish. So it's meant to go over with either chrome powder or foil. I've done it with both um, and both have their place. I do like uh, using the foils if I don't have a particular chrome color, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, so I put a little bit of that black sticky stamping polish on my um, stamper and I'm just going to go in and kind of fill in the lines, um, which worked really good except one line I did get a little too thick. Um, it's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine right there. A little too thick. I did kind of try to clean it up, which I think at the end of the day, I made a bigger mess out of it than uh, it's okay. It's fine. It, it really looks fine on the nails once they're all done. Um, but yeah, it's a, uh, okay. If I say it's fine one more time, take a shot. Don't, I don't actually, uh, recommend that, but I, for whatever reason, I'm saying that a lot. So I did give this a few more seconds. Like I didn't go in immediately. And that's just because um, they're not as thin as they would have been had they been from the stamp itself. I hope that makes sense. But because I was using a liner brush and I am going back over the, all, the whole nail just to if there's any mist chrome powder or just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. Um, there we go. Now I've got it all filled in. It doesn't look like it's a half stamp. Oh, and here's the hack. Foil, this is regular, this is not a gel product. This is regular foil stamping polish nail glue. So this is to do like tr transfer foils, which I'm sorry, but it doesn't work for <laughs> transfer foils. I've tried it, it's a hot mess. But look at that, literally zero, 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 zero smudging. So I put this on, it goes on kind of like cloudy, like a milky white. Um, and when it's dry, it'll be completely clear on the nail. And then I went over with a regular nail polish top coat. I did not end up using a dip top coat on these because I was running out of time and I really needed to get pictures taken so that I could get this voiceover done so that I could get everything posted. And if I was gonna go in with dip top coat, I would want to wait at least, mm, at least I'm going to say at least 10 minutes at the bare minimum, but when I'm doing them on press-ons, I usually honestly let them sit overnight, but you'll see here in a minute, they'll be dry and I'll do a nail polish top coat on top of them and perfection foil stamping. No foil glue, foil transfer glue, regular, not gel for the win. Gel might work too. You could always try that. The, the foil stamping polish for gel. Oh my gosh, I'm done. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay, we did our activator. We waited two minutes, wiped off with a lint-free wipe and some alcohol, and now we're going in with our first layer of dip top coat, three quick swipes. Uh, sometimes I tend to do a little bit more because I'm used to using the odorless dip top coat, which I don't do here. Um, I'm using the, it's Three Broke Girls or Amberly's Nail Corner, um, whichever one. Um, I think on Instagram, it's Three Broke Girls, and on Facebook, her group is Amberly's Nail Corner. But I do love this top coat. It does have an odor, so I do have to like stuff cotton up my nose. And I'm fine as long as I either leave the room immediately or leave the cotton in my nose until the odor that's lingering in the air kind of evaporates and is no longer an issue. But if I take them out of my nose and I can still smell and I sit there, I will get mild symptoms. Not nothing like I've had in the past where it's like straight on like send me to the emergency room because I'm having an asthma attack dip flu but sniffles that night a little bit stuffed up you know sneezing whatever so nothing horrible but also not something I want to expose myself to on a regular basis so there we did the first nail now we're going to go in with the second nail and I was so happy. This is the SE Gel Couture regular. I don't know why they call it gel, but I think it's because it's supposed to have a gel like shine. Um, and it, I think it does. I mean, for a nail polish top coat, it's definitely one of my favorites. 
and boom, we are done. We've got all the nails top coated. I almost think the nail polish top coat turned out shinier than the other, which is really weird because Amberly's nail corner is one of my favorite top coats, but that's okay. Um, this is peppermint swirl and I'm not going to tell you where I got it or anything like that until Friday's video. So if you want to know anything about that, you're going to have to watch Friday's video. It, it is an unboxing, so I recommend watching that video, but we are done. Um, gonna cuticle oil up my other hand for no other reason than I wanted to. Um, and we'll talk about that more later. Uh, like what's going on with that hand. <laughs> um, Thank you guys for being here with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to see you in Friday's video that will be uploaded. Yay. I'm not going to miss another video or at least that's my goal. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.